Hi Scorpio, welcome to your third week of July, love read. I'm gonna take a look at the person on your mind, see how they're feeling, um, any actions they may take towards you, and I'm gonna see your you, you as well. And then at the end, I'll do a yes, no, pick a pile. It's one of my favorite little bonuses to do. And if the messages resonate, I will provide a link to the extended where I'll look into the rest of July and how do they truly feel about me deep down inside? My hands are a little sticky today, so. All right, how do they feel about my Scorpio? This card just wanted to poke right out. Seven of Swords, okay? So I feel like they are being a little bit avoidant at the moment, okay? They're avoiding um, responsibility, avoiding um, telling you something, okay? So we'll just keep going. I don't know why I just keep wanting to shuffle. I just kind of go with where my hands want to go. We have the world card here. So this is your person. Could be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Very fixed energy. And if, it, if that's not their sign, it's the energy that they're taking on right now. They're really... Um, in this, I don't want to get out of my rut. I don't want to get out of my routine type of energy, okay? But the world card too is talking about your person really working on um, a lot of things at the moment. Like they have a lot they're carrying, a lot on their shoulders, a lot they've been working, working on, um, and they're trying to complete things. I feel like just complete complete things that they've been working on for um, a long time. Things that, that are very important to them, okay? I do see possible travel, and I feel like they're at the edge here. Like, it's a good energy, it's a good, it's definitely a feeling of completion, gratification, accomplishment. And we have the Eight of Swords, what's going on in their head. So they're fighting, they're fighting their um, feelings, okay? They're fighting their thoughts right now. So I feel like this person is, is intentionally um, isolating themselves, okay? And because this is about love, obviously I'm gonna go, they're isolating themselves from thinking about love at the moment. You know, they just, I think they have a lot of negative thoughts around, surrounding the idea, surrounding the idea, yeah, and as I was saying that, that one, the 10 of wands, really burdened and burnt out um, when it comes to the thought of relationships, okay? But the Ten of Wands to me is talking about, you know, they, they're not, although it, it feels like a lot of work for them right now, it feels, maybe they have, this is regarding what's going on in their life here, they just have a lot going on, um, they're feeling burnt out, that's why they don't have the energy to put forth um, in a relationship, I feel like they still have a final push. Like they're, they're about, I just, I get this energy here with this world card with them holding things up constantly. Like they're just trying to complete so many things in there. They're trying to close so many um, projects and things that are going on in their life. And with the, the 10 of wands, it's like they are burnt out, but they, they're just, they keep pushing and pushing and they're not gonna stop until they get everything they want. And I think that's what's holding them back from taking any action um, regarding love at the moment, okay? So let's just get, um, let's get another one to see any actions they may take towards this situation because it does show that they have one final push here and that, and that they're not gonna stop. I mean, ultimately they do want love in their life, um, but let's see. We have the hair fin here, yeah, so I feel as though this person does um, they're very traditional type of person, okay? They may have been married before. They may, um, you know, they've gone down that path before, okay? So they really do value the traditional type of um, relationship, okay? And I feel like in the past, there may have been some struggles in that area where they feel as though, um, you know, it's just, it was really stressful. It could have went through a very stressful divorce. Okay, so it holds them, it holds them from moving forward. But here's the thing. I do see that because the Hierophant's here, 
I feel as though they do their inner their inner truth is they do want the end all be all with somebody. They do want the traditional relationship. They do want somebody they can come home to and just feel comfortable with, not have to go out there and constantly um, search for companionship. Um, this is this doesn't I don't get the feeling it doesn't have this feeling of um, I need somebody to fulfill me by any means. It just means I really do, I crave, I do, my inner desire, my inner truth is to have a companion who I can um, spend the rest of my, my life with, you know? Um, I do value that. It's, you know, and I also feel like this person too could be going through, I'm getting this energy of pushing yourself to the limits, trying to put all your energies into all areas of your life and all these accomplishments because they are ignoring their, um, this isolation, this self-imposed isolation that they put themselves in, um, you know, feeling burnt out and just not sure, like they're, they're stuck. I get this stuck energy of, you know, I need a push. I need a push. I need to push out of this energy, but I, I don't feel, I just, I'm not getting, they're not tapped into their emotions here or passion here. So let's get a couple shuffles and then let's look at you, Scorpio. Let's look at you. I bang them on the table because it clears the energy. All right, here you are, the Five of Swords in reverse. I don't like taking reversals with these with this deck because um, I kind of read the cards however I that they come through anyways. I feel like there's been some disagreements in the past here. There's been some... Um, there's been a no-win situation here. You feel like there's been a no-win situation with this person, okay? You're very defensive and you're always on guard. You always feel like you're defending yourself or standing your ground, okay? But I do get this, um, this determined energy about you as well with the Seven of Wands, all right? I feel like you're not, you don't give up easy. There's a lot of fight in you, especially with the Five of Swords showing up for you. Um, and it's a very competitive energy, okay, and the seven of wands, like, I just feel like you're very, you stand your ground, you know what you want, um, you don't, you're not afraid of conflict by any means, I mean, I, I can't even, look, I can't, like, look at these two cards if you can see them, like, you're not afraid of conflict whatsoever, and if you want something, um, you know, you are going to fight for it, you're very territorial, and you're very, you know, guarded, but you're very, you stand, you defend yourself. You stand your ground when you know you want something because, you know, I feel like with Scorpio energy, I feel like um, you don't just want just anything. So when something comes your way or comes into your life, you're like, um, you know, this isn't every day, so I need to see where this goes. And I'm not gonna, I just get this fight in you, Scorpio. You're a fighter, a serious fighter. So I get the page of cups, okay? So I see a possibility of you messaging, um, messaging. I feel like you're admiring this person. I do get with the page of cups. It's really an emotional type of message. Um, I don't feel like you're afraid, Scorpio, to tell somebody how you feel. Um, you, you're not, you really, you really, it takes you a minute to tell somebody how you feel because you really contemplate and you think and you, um, I take on, I always kind of connect Scorpio energy with the Queen of Swords energy because the Queen of Swords, you know, doesn't like to show any weakness and really wants to make sure that she thinks about everything and because she wants, to, you know, the truth, she speaks the truth. And I feel like that's what happens with Scorpio is you may not always speak up or say what's on your mind because you haven't finished evaluating exactly what it is you want or how you truly feel. And I feel like I feel like it may surprise you. I feel like you may be, even if in this situation, you may feel like you're always the one to reach out. I feel like it takes an inspired action for you to do so. Like, I don't feel like you reach out to this person um, in a sense of desperation. I feel like it surprises you as well, that you're like, why do I even have the urge to reach out to this person, but I do, okay? So I get the Nine of Swords though. I do see it causing you some anxiety. Um, you know, I do feel like you worry, you worry about, 
you know, why you worry. I feel like there's this worrying energy of, did I mess up or am I going to mess up if I reach out with this, I'll reach out to this person. Okay. So before I go any further, I get the 10 of pentacles at the bottom here. So what you don't know for many of you, I love the 10 of pentacles because it's a, it's sort of a, um, it's sort of a reminder that you could be running into money. Um, you definitely could be marrying somebody. It, it, and I get the tradition too. So when I get the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the World card, I feel like the overall energy of this is um, somebody that you felt or feel like could be a long-term commitment. And even though it may seem like it's taken forever, or you feel like you can't um, shake this person, I feel like for some of you, you may have a soul contract or you may have been married in a past life and that's why you feel this energy towards this person, okay? And that's why you feel kind of in this fight, you know, energy. Like, I'm gonna fight for this, but I also feel like, you know, it's your pride that I, I'm the one that always has to reach out. This person doesn't reach out um, and it, it makes you feel uncomfortable doing so, you know? It makes you doubt the connection because you're the one reaching out, right? But let's take a closer look at your person's um, deepest desire or fear, right? And yours as well. And then I'll clarify some of those cards. We're going to look at the possible challenge as well. Um, all right, so your person, long distance. I feel like um, there could be distance involved here, and that's why your person holds back. Okay, I don't think it has anything to do with um, a caged heart, damaged heart. Okay, that could be you or your person. Okay, you both kind of are guarded and protective of your heart. But I feel like because the Hierophant here is showing up with your person and they have this key like that they're holding really close to their heart and their throat chakra, it's almost like they're guarding what they want to say and they're guarding their heart. Um, because they they might not be able to see um, this going anywhere. Okay, Scorpio, it doesn't. I'm not getting the feeling that um, I, th I get this more of a practical, like logical type of energy. Like there's nothing, nothing can come of this. If long distance is difficult for a lot of people, but I want to look at the possible challenge. I get the real deal for you, and I get higher purpose, Scorpio. So when I get the higher purpose, I feel like you are searching for somebody who is the real deal, somebody who's on the same spiritual path as you, somebody who together you have a higher purpose. And I feel like because these cards are coming out, maybe you feel this way about this person. That's why you're willing to, you know, still fight for this person, regardless of the distance between this person, regardless of the caged heart regardless of the burdens that are going on, regardless if you're the one that always has to reach out first, okay? And, and it stresses you out, you worry about it. You're like, am I, am I letting, is this really what my heart wants or am I letting my ego get in the way? Am I scared? Why am I scared? But the real deal and the higher purpose is the connection between, you may not know the connection between this person and you just yet. Like I said, I felt like it could have been a past life or could have been a soul contract. I feel like there's something more for the two of you, um, whether it's that you're just learning from each other or you're, you're guiding each other in some way. This relationship isn't going anywhere. It may, the distance might be a factor in this relationship. And I feel like the pendulum here showing up here as well. I feel like this relationship goes back and forth, like, like it goes from one direction to the next direction. So if there's distance involved, we can't have it. So we swing all the way this way, you know, we won't talk at all. Or we talk and then we fight. I don't know. It's just, I just feel like there's always a yes, no. Nothing can just be... Um, nothing can just be in the middle with you two at this moment. And I feel like... Um, I feel like there's a lot of stress on both sides here. I don't feel like, like you have the nine of swords on your side, you have the seven of wands and the five of swords, and your person has the eight of swords and the 10 of wands. I mean, these are some of the most stressful cards to get. So both of you are mirroring each other in a sense where, you know, it, you're not in this comfortable energy, all right? But, you, but neither of you are willing to kind of completely cut the situation off. I feel like there is a higher purpose here, whether you know it or not. And I do get love revived right here, okay? But I do see somebody's hearts on lockdown right now. 
And I feel like that's your person, all right? They're, little, they're with that hair thing. They're just guarding their truth. But I get true love here, and I get watched very soon, okay, Scorpio? So I love, I love that energy. Um, swept off your feet, all right? Many of you may have been swept off your seat, off, off your seat, off your feet by this person, and and that's why you are fighting for it because you don't understand why. I think Scorpio, um, the two of you, I feel like you know that there is a higher purpose, but at the same time, your person has the hierophant. I feel like your person's hiding the truth. Um, and here with that seven of swords at the beginning, I feel like your person's hiding the truth. They do see the spiritual connection there. They do feel it. They do know there's something more. Um, and they may know that it might not be possible for a physical connection at the moment because of the distance. But I feel like with both of you, you both feel the, um, it may have taken your person a while, or they may have known the whole entire time, but um, they just never told you. They do feel that there's a higher purpose here, okay? And that doesn't necessarily have to mean marriage, okay? It just means that there is a higher purpose. And, you know, here we get the two of cups. Two of cups, right? The possible outcome here. Partnership, love, friendship. Mutual attraction between the two of you and the king of pentacles. All right, so I do see um, very dis very traditional type of, you get the Hierophant now, the king of pentacles, and you have the real deal. You have a lot of marriage type material here. So I do get a strong, um, a strong energy here that this relationship is meant for more. You may not see it now. You may not see what, why, why, but it's, there's definitely a connection there for a higher purpose. And it could be possibly in this lifetime that you do get together and finally commit. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And um, you could come into union, all right? And finally decide to work on things. I do feel like, you know, there could be a strong um, distance involved here, okay? So I'm gonna do the yes, no um, to clarify. And if you, if this message resonates with you, I will um, go into the extended and we'll look at how your person truly feels about you. And we're gonna look into the rest of July and see if there's any movement, okay? So we're gonna do, that card wanted to flip, why the Emperor card. All right, take an action. This could be your divine masculine. You could be the divine masculine. It could be a twin flame connection, okay? I really feel that with the higher purpose card coming up. But let's go. All right, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Okay, pile one. We have the death card. So yes, Scorpio, that's you. There's a renewal, a new phase starting, especially with that world card. Okay, I just feel like it talks, it's, it, you need patience now because you're in the whole new phase. Things are changing, things are shifting which means that letting go and shedding the past stories is going to help this move forward and this love revive, okay? Because it's, it is a yes, it's a new beginning, it's a rebirth, all right? Yes, no, yes, no. We have the sun card. Everybody knows the sun card is the major yes card. Okay, it could be a Leo you're connecting with. You may see movement, more movement in August, Leo season, um, okay? So I do, I do, this is a great connection. Um, so I hope you guys follow me to the extended. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to all so that you receive notifications when I do go live. I love you guys. Take care.